going on. I'm going to look at some uh, Stakes is High this week, a.k.a. I listened to a bunch of Robert Glasper. And uh, I know it's original jazz sample, so I'm just basically breaking down that. But first, I'll just quickly break down the root position chords and just like the, the chord progression, I guess. What's kind of really interesting about this is it might sound like it goes out of key or in and out of keys, but it's actually all in the key of A flat major or F minor because in this key we're resolving to the minor chord a lot. With that being said, uh, I'm going to still say everything in terms of A major, like A flat is one, just so I don't have to change the numbering systems for all my transcriptions. But first we got our six chord, our six minor chord or F minor. And then we go to our four major chord, our D flat major seven. And then we go to our three chord, which is a minor seven in this key, C minor seven. And then we go to our two chord, which is a minor seven, B flat. And then we go to a our one chord, which is the A flat major seven. Then we do a minor two, five, one back to the F minor. So that means we do our seven half diminished chord, our G half diminished right there. And then our C seven, which is our three dominant chord, back to our F minor, which is our sixth chord. So if I play it with the melody all in root position, it'll sound something like this. A little, little janky, there's a lot of chord movement and that's where the, uh, the Rob Glasser movements come in. I should note this uh, three dominant does go out of the key, but that's just uh, any minor 2-5-1. For example, if I play a minor 2-5-1 in the key of A minor or C major, this is my 7 half diminished or my minor 2. And then my dominant on the 3 chord, this G sharp is not in the key of C. But minor 2-5-1s do that because if you just play it diatonically, does not sound as uh, strong because you got that leading tone right there. All right, on to these Rob Glasper voicings though. So just get to get the right hand out the way first, you were doing just playing the melody right here. We sometimes got some octaves going. And then uh, later when it goes to the more vocal part, not the chorus, I guess, then we'll play some more interesting voicing. But for the left hand, uh, what's special about Rob Glasper in this song is that we're playing a lot of rootless voicings. So just like that uh, common video I did earlier, right here, there's a lot of rootless voicings that rely on the bass player to play the root note. So here's our first chord, we're playing an F minor seven, and then we'll throw in the ninth there because it's in the melody and it sounds good. So you see the root note down there is an F, let's just get rid of that because the bass player's not do that, or he's playing that. And then what do we have left? We have an A flat major seven left. All an F minor nine is, is an A flat major seven over F. So A flat major seven. Then for Rob Glasser voicings, we want to get this uh, minor two rub right here. So we're going to take these two notes, this E flat and G, move them down there below our A flat and C. So E flat, G, A flat, C. So that's our F minor voicing. And then we're going to do the same thing for this uh, D flat major seven. Just take these top two notes, A flat and C, move them down there, A flat, C, keep these two. So. And then for this next voicing, we're basically doing the same thing except with a minor seven chord. So the chord here is a C minor seven. We're going to take our top two notes, move them down there. So, so far. And then for this B flat minor nine, Notice that all it is is a D flat major seven over B flat. So we'll take out the B flat, let the bass player play that, and then move our top two notes down there. Then we're left with this voicing again. The same voicing as the D flat major seven. It's a D flat major seven, so. And then for our A flat major seven, we said earlier that an F minor nine is just an A flat major seven over F. So that voicing was like this. We'll use the same voicing because it's an A flat major seven voicing, so. And then here's where we get a little bit funky, a little bit tricky. Uh, Rob Glasper, when you listen to the recordings, he's not playing just a straight, you know, minor two, five, one right there. On this one, uh, on the minor, on the 
seven half diminished, I hear a dominant seven. So he'll play that. I hear this B sticking out. And then on the C chord, this dominant chord, I usually hear a, I definitely hear that B flat. And then I also hear a sharp nine. Some of you will know that as the Hendrix chord in guitar. So just to break it all down, and, and sometimes on that last chord, I'll voice that like this, omitting the third, but sounds good enough. So here it is in a whole, a little slower. Yeah, there you go. And then uh, in, the, in the verse, I just bring it down here, do some bigger voicings, change the octave. And then right here on this uh, on this C7 chord, I'm playing a flat nine. I'm playing uh, natural 11, flat 13. I don't know what's going on, bro, but it sounds great. 